This is Sarah Batterini with a home yoga practice. This practice is focused on strengthening the core as well as opening throughout the hips. So go ahead and roll out your mat. Join me and we'll begin in a comfortable seated position. Opening up the palms, just receiving whatever your practice is going to bring you today. Setting the intention, setting the breath. And then offer it out, let it go. Whatever will come, will come. Walk your hands back, lifting the spine. Use the inhale to bring the arms up above the head and on your exhale, bringing them down. Matching the movements to your breath, warming the shoulders, lengthening the spine. Inhaling, reach up. On this exhale, we're gonna twist, grabbing opposite knee, filling the lungs, lengthening the spine, and exhaling as you turn to look behind you. Use the inhale to reach back up. And on the exhale, go to the other side. Using the next breath in to lengthen, exhaling to twist deeper. Coming back through the center, reaching up, exhaling, bring the hands back behind you. Opening of the chest, let the head fall back. You could stay here or go deeper by bringing the knees down, hips up. On your exhale, the sit bones ground, making your way into a tabletop position, only you're gonna bring the knees as wide as your mat, hands as wide as the mat. Finding the flexibility through your spine, begin slow rotating in circles, both directions. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just wanna open through the shoulders, the spine and the hips. Just kind of feeling where your own spine is today. Undulating through the hips, the core, the neck. Walk your hands forward, curl the toes. And then just rock back and forth, releasing any tension in the low back. Coming into a puppy dog position, reaching the arms forward and then straightening the legs into downward dog. Remember the heels don't have to touch the ground, but you're just letting the heels get heavy, releasing the neck. Begin to bend the knees one at a time, opening through the hamstrings. And don't rush through this, just deep bend through one side, then the other. Lift the heels and then exhaling as you bring the heels down a little lower. And then you're gonna to begin to come forward into a plank position, strong through the core, push back as you exhale. Inhale, coming forward into plank, pushing back into downward dog as you exhale. And then you're gonna to begin to kind of just make a big circle. This is uh, maybe known as a Ferris wheel sort of movement. Just, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just making big circles with your body, both directions. The idea is that you're opening through your body and through your spine. It should feel good. On your inhale, bring your right leg all the way up. And on your exhale, step it through, following with the left leg. Folding forward on your exhale. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. Releasing the neck. Bring your legs wider, as, wider than your hips and grab the elbows, rocking gently from side to side. <sighs> Bending the knees, rocking back and forth. And bend the knees a lot, roll up to stand, reaching the hands above your head as you inhale, look up, exhale, the arms come down into Namaste, Tadasana. Connecting with the breath and how it feels now that you're standing. On your inhale, bring the arms up above your head. Exhale, lean to one side. Exhale, the other side, opening through the side body. Big breath in, reach up. On your exhale, reach the hands back and lacing the fingers. Knuckles draw down, sternum lifts. Bend the knees, roll the belly onto the thighs, dropping the head. You can keep your, your knees bent or straighten them out. And then you're gonna bend the left knee as much as you can, rolling the right shoulder up, 
going over to the other side. Come to the center, release the hands and fold. Step one leg back, coming into a low lunge. Hands are heavy, salt shoulders are soft. Lift the chest and lean up. Exhale, come down and bring the feet together, fold. Inhale, roll up to standing, reaching up. Exhale, come back down, dropping the head. Other leg steps back, bringing the knee down, rising up into your low lunge with heavy arms, soft shoulders. Rolling forward, bring the hands back to the top of the mat. Feet come together and you fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, bring it back down, emptying the belly. Stepping both legs back, lowering down all the way to your belly, rising up into cobra. Coming up as only, coming up only as much as feels right for you. Push back child's pose, let it all release. Curling the toes, bringing the right leg all the way up, open the hip. Let the turn come from the waist, pointing your knee up. As you exhale, step that foot through, bringing the knee down. Maybe this time bringing the arms up as you come back into your lunge. Hands down at your side, feet together, fold, exhale. Rise to stand, inhale, reach up. Take a moment, connect with your breath. Using the inhale to bring the arms up, exhaling as you fold. Stepping both legs back, coming into plank. So remember, moving slowly, moving with your breath, and taking the time to enjoy each posture and the moments in between each posture. Lowering down, pushing back, bringing the left leg all the way up, other side, bending the knee, turning from the waist. This should feel good, open from your hip, and then step that foot through, bringing the knee down. Arms can be up or down, whatever feels better for you at this point. Big breath in for that back bend and exhale, bringing the hands back to the mat, feet come together, fold, release. Inhale, reverse swan dive to stand, reaching up, hands to the heart, exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release. Stepping the left leg all the way back, bringing the knee down. Inhale, reach up. Opening through the shoulders. Stepping back, right leg to the ceiling or the sky if you're outside like me. Opening through the hip and bring that knee into your core. Shoulders will be over the wrists, opening up. Have it so that when you inhale, the knee comes to the chest. On your exhale, you open, reach back, kick back. Keep going just like this, slower the better. Get strong, kick back, inhale, exhale, step through. This time, high lunge so you keep that back knee up. Use the inhale to come up. If you're modifying like me right now, your hands are gonna go on your hips. Exhaling as you bend down, inhaling as you reach up or as you come up. And if you want to take it farther, a little more challenging, the arms can come up as you pulse. Hands to the top of the mat, feet together, fold, release. Inhale, rise. Hands to the heart, connect with your breath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, come down. Preparing for the other side, high lunge, left leg is forward, inhale, reach up, nice and slow, bringing the hands down, left leg to the ceiling, kick up, open up, on the exhale, bend the knee, open the hip, turning from the waist once again, both hands are firm into the mat knee to the core, shoulders over the wrist. As you move through this, make sure your jaw stays soft. 
You're using your whole body. Exhaling as you reach back. Inhaling as you come forward. Last one. And then you'll come to your high lunge on the other side, ready for the pulse. Arms can be up or at your waist. Use the inhale to lift up. As you exhale, bend deeply. Strong through that back foot, using all the toes so that you're supported in your foundation. Bringing the arms up if you want more of a challenge. Hands will come to the top of the mat. Left leg to the ceiling. Inhale, you can bring it straight. Find your downward dog. Inhale, bringing the knees down as you exhale and come to rest in child's pose. Bring the arms back because you've been using them a lot. You can just turn the palms up, soften through the shoulders. From here, coming into tabletop, arching the back on the inhale, rounding on the exhale. Extend your right leg out. If you're modifying, you can just bring your hand onto your hip like this, or if you want to take it farther, your arm can come up. You could stay there, or you could bend your knee, find your foot with your hand, and then kick your foot into your hand, coming into a little back bend. Bringing the hand back down, keep your leg up as you kick up, open up, and step it into pigeon on the right side. Set your foundation, fingertips pushing down. You can reach up here, opening through the hip after all that. Strengthening, get into a deep opening, walking the hands forward. You can rest here on your forearms or come all the way down onto your forehead. Soft jaw, soft shoulders, slowing down the breath and easing in. Use the inhale to come up nice and slow and step back into plank. You can go through chaturanga or just onto your belly, cobra or upward dog. Push back, downward dog. Couple breaths here. And with strength and control, you're gonna bring the knees down to the mat, tabletop, hands under the shoulders. Left leg goes straight back on the inhale. Lining the heel up with the head as much as you can and then opening the hip. Taking the hand to the hip or to the ceiling, to the sky. Staying here or bending into that left knee. Finding your foot. If you don't find it today, don't you worry. You'll find it eventually. Just be okay with where you are now. You'll get the opening. Finding your back bend if you're grabbing the foot and then coming out the same way you came in. Left leg stays up, kick back, open, twist, and on your exhale, pigeon on the other side. Setting the foundation before bringing the arms up. It's okay to move, find a little bit of pulsing in each posture. Bringing the hands forward, making your way down, keeping the spine long, and settling in. Keep your mind focused on the breath. When you're still, the breath is still moving. Stepping back plank, exhale, lowering, rising. and come all the way onto the belly, looking over the right shoulder as you come up into Cobra, looking over the left shoulder, back to the center, push back, child's pose, just for a moment, or puppy. Walk the hands back, stretching the feet, toes are curled under. You can just sit still or you can find some movement through the arms. Slowing down the breath now that you're grounded. Uncurl the toes, sitting back on your heels. Soft shoulders, hands resting on the knees. On the inhale, the right arm sweeps up and back. 
You can stay here or extend the left arm up. You could stay here or bring the hips up into a half camel. And use the exhale to come down. Inhale, other side. Staying with the version that's right for your body today. And then in here, you're going to come sit in cheerleader. There might be a more professional name for it, but I've seen cheerleaders sit like this. <laughs> and you're just going to rock the hip. It's real gentle movement, just getting into the hip a little bit more. You could stay there or you can open it up, bringing the sit bones off the ground and reaching up. Come on down and switch sides. Just a slight rocking, lifting the sit bone, moving the hip forward, moving the pelvis. Stay here or come up. This should feel good, so if it doesn't feel good, just be okay with staying in the modified version. And you can come into a seat, same way we started, rolling the spine, circling through the neck and the head. Go slow and gentle here. And finding the center, bring your hands to your heart, noticing how you feel being thankful to your body for the practice as I am thankful for you. Namaste.